you really never know where you're gonna get amazing silver coins. Silver Picker here and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now today's video is a fantastic, fantastic story of getting some amazing, really cool silver coins in a very, very unusual and more importantly, unexpected way. Wait till you hear this story. Okay, as you can see here, I have two different groups of items. I've got all of these red envelopes and then I've got a few of these boxes with George Washington's head on them, mostly blue and one purple. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I buy all of the same thing? Why did I get this? Where did I get it? What's the story? So let me tell you because it's an interesting one. So a couple weeks ago, I went to Boston on business and I decided that I was going to extend my trip over the weekend because I have a buddy that lives out there and I hadn't seen him in a while. And we figured it'd be a good time to get back together and get some drinks, get some good food and he'd take me around Boston, show me what it's all about. And I thought it was gonna be great. And it was indeed, we had such a good time. But as you can see here, I got more than I expected. Now, where did this all come from? So I had never met his girlfriend. Like I said, I hadn't seen him in a while and we're hanging out with his girlfriend and she mentions that she and her brother had cleaned out an old storage locker that they had kept a lot of their childhood belongings when their parents moved out of state. And they cleaned it out because they realized they were spending all this money to keep this stuff in storage and they really didn't need to. And, you know, I didn't really think much of it at the time when she told me the story, but later on in the day, we were out driving and uh, we were going to go get something to eat. And I started talking about my YouTube channel and my side business where I buy and sell coins and jewelry and all that kind of stuff. All the stuff that you guys already know about. And she starts asking me, she goes, what do you mean you buy coins? And I say, well, you know, a lot of times uh, people have a coin collection that they don't want or they don't know what to do with. For example, somebody's grandfather passed away and they inherited their, their grandfather's coin collection. They don't know what to do with it. And uh, they know they want to sell it, but they just don't know to who. So there I come and I buy it and I give them a good deal. And then I'm able to put some stuff in my collection and then sell the rest. And she goes, you're not going to believe this, but my grandfather passed away gave me his coin collection, I don't know what to do with it, and I want to sell it. I say, oh wow, I said, I mean, I'm, I'd absolutely love to look at it, I'd be more than happy to take a look and, and purchase it. And she goes, well, you're in luck. It's in the car right now. Now, the whole thing that's hilarious is that it was in her actual car at that moment because she had cleaned out her storage locker. So we basically went back to my friend's house, dumped all the stuff out on the table, and this is the stuff that I ended up purchasing. The reason why I want to tell you this story is an important lesson. And what that is, is you should always tell your friends, family, people you meet that you're interested in coins. Because you never know where you're going to have an opportunity. I mean, I knew for a fact, pretty much, that my friend's girlfriend wasn't a coin collector and she wasn't going to have a coin collection. And if she did, she wasn't going to want to sell it to me. But the fact that I brought up my interest in buying and selling coins gave that tiny little chance that she might have something an opportunity to come out into the forefront and I ended up buying all this awesome stuff. And uh, let me get into it and I'll show you. So that's your little lesson for the day, but let's get right into the actual coins. All right, so let's start right over here on the left. What are these red envelopes over here? What these red envelopes are, are United States Bicentennial Silver Uncirculated Set. So in 1976, 200 years after our nation's founding, we had from the mint a set of coins to commemorate that amazing, amazing milestone in our country's history. And as you can see here, we have a half dollar, a silver dollar, and a quarter, all of which are struck in 40% silver, and this is the uncirculated set, and as you can see, it says 1776 to 1976 on each of the coins. Isn't that nice? And I actually love how these are sort of really, really reflective, you know, because they are, of course, uncirculated, but not such a mirror finish like the proof coins. And the reason why I like that is because I'm actually thinking of cracking these out, at least one set to put in my type set. And the reason I like uncirculated over proof coins in my type set is because most of my type set is business strike coins. So it looks a little strange when you've got a beautiful, brilliant mirror finish coin sitting next to sort of like a dull, uh, worn coin that's been in circulation, 
But let's take a look at these coins. As you can see, each of these coins has a different back, a different reverse than their uh, normal non-bicentennial um, non counterparts. So as you can see here, there's like the Revolutionary Soldier Drummer Boy on the quarter. There is the Liberty Bell and the moon in the background because it was a really important feat for us to have reached the moon uh, in 1969, and uh, this is just a few years later when this coin was minted. And over here is Independence Hall, and it says 200 years of freedom. It's a really, really nice set, and it comes in this really nice little um, folder that actually folds out, and you can actually display this. I'm not going to open it up like that because I'm probably going to sell most of these except for one that I'm going to put into my typeset. But, um, I mean, this is really, really a nice little display piece. You can put this on your mantle, uh, and the thing that's nice about displaying coins publicly in your house, especially the ones that aren't like super expensive that you're worried might get stolen, is that it is a great conversation starter, which goes right back to this whole story of how I got these. Somebody comes in your house and they see that you've got coins displayed and they ask you, hey, are you a coin collector? And you'll say, why, yes I am. And guess what? They'll say, hey, I've got a bunch of coins that I'm looking to sell, would you be interested? So definitely uh, think of these both as a symbol of the, uh, the story and also as a great collector's item. I'll leave these out. All right, and what do we have over here on the right side? Well, on the right side, we've got five of the same coin and one that sort of looks the same but is a different color, and I'll explain to you why in a second. So what these are, these are from 1982, and what it is is an uncirculated commemorative half dollar commemorating George Washington. And it is the 250th anniversary of the birth of George Washington. Now, I... Well, I actually have one of these in my typeset already because there are actually four slots for commemorative half dollars in the typical Dansko 7070 um, typeset book. So I actually have one of these already and I'm not going to be keeping any more of them. So I'm actually going to be selling all of them. So if anybody's interested, let me know. But isn't this an awesome, awesome coin? Half dollar in God we trust. Does anybody know what this is representing on the back, on the, ob on the reverse of the coin? I assume that it might be you know, uh, maybe Washington's birth home or something like that. This looks like Washington as a uh, regal general on his horse. What an awesome coin. Now, what's the difference between this and the purple one? Well, simply, the purple one is the same coin, but in proof finish. Now, like I said, I don't like to put proof coins in my uh, typeset, but I do love proof coin. This is gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. So this will also be for sale. So I'm not gonna belabor it, I'm not gonna show you every single one. I mean, they're all in there, they're all the same. Um, and it's not, I'd say, the most exciting collection from a variety perspective, but they are awesome, awesome, solid, solid silver coins. Each of these is silver. Every single one I got is silver. I got a whole bunch, which means that I can sell them to many different people, make many different people happy so that they've got them in their own collection, which I always think is really nice. And it's really cool to look at, and it's just an awesome, awesome collection that I was able to get for pretty cheap, but, you know, in a very interesting and unexpected way. All right, and like I mentioned before, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these coins that you see here today, please sh shoot me an email at thesilverpicker at gmail.com and we will certainly work something out. Now, for those of you that are interested in winning one of these coins, I am actually going to be doing a giveaway. That's right. I am giving away one of these uncirculated Washington silver halves and one of these envelopes full of three bicentennial silver coins. And I'm going to be giving them both away absolutely free of charge, free shipping to anybody in the world who wins this contest. Now, if you notice, there is no mention of this contest in the description or title of this video, and that is because it is more of a secret contest that I wanted to do something for my hardcore fans, the ones that watch all my videos through and through, that don't just click on the videos because it says giveaway. I want to give something back to you guys, and that's why I'm opening this contest up to anybody that watches this video and actually sees me talking about this. All right, now how are we going to do this giveaway? Well, it is actually really, really easy to win, but there's gonna be a little bit of friendly competition here, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So there's three things you need to do to win this contest. 
Step one, very simple, be a subscriber to my channel. That is the easiest, most classic way to do things, and uh, this contest will be no exception, so you just hit that subscribe button, and that is all the way, all you need to do for step one. Step two, what you need to do for step two is share this video on social media. Now, I don't care where you share it, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, or even on your own personal website. Just share this video, have the link posted so people can watch the video. It'll expose my channel and this video to more different people that uh, might be interested in it. Now, step three is the fun part. So for those of you who have been watching my last few videos, you'll know that I've been involved in this website and app called Snups. And Snups is an awesome platform online and an app where collectors of all different types can come together to share their collections, show off their items, buy, sell, and trade, ask questions, and learn a lot about their hobby. Now, I was approached by Snups to be the group leader for their Precious Metals and Coins group. And of course, it's a big honor, and I love it. And it's been so much fun. Uh, a few months ago when we launched the group, there were literally seven members. And now we have over 400 members that are sharing coins, sharing their precious metals, talking about tips and tricks, and it is really, really awesome. And what you need to do to enter this contest, take a look here, this is my Snups account, and you need to add a shelf. Now shelves are a way for you to, to group items in your, con in your collection. And for this shelf, all you need to do is you need to put your top five favorite silver coins. Now, I don't have mine right now because I'm not going to post this until the video goes live, but I want you to put your top five favorite silver coins on a shelf and share that to the Precious Metals and Coins group. So as you can see here, you take a look, you go to the group, Precious Metals and Coins, and as you can see, we got 416 members. That is awesome, 416 members. Now all you gotta do is share that shelf to this group and you are entered the contest. So be a subscriber, share the video on social media, post to Snups, post your top five favorite coins to Snups and you're in the contest and I will send you one of these and one of these absolutely free. Now here's the catch. Who is actually going to win the contest? Well, here we go. Whoever's top five favorite silver coins gets the most wows on their collection in the Snups app will be the winner. Now this contest is a short contest. This contest will end the day after Thanksgiving. That's right. So Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, is the end of this contest. So let's see who can get the most votes in by then. All right, well, good luck. All right, so that's a wrap. So I think that you guys got the gist. You got a lesson. You got to see some cool coins. You have an opportunity to buy some cool coins and you have an opportunity to win some cool coins. So I think that that is an awesome video. So I hope you liked my content. Please give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber already. I mean, seriously, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and join us in the Silver Picker Squad. And of course, Follow me on all of these social media platforms. I post all sorts of stuff there before I post on YouTube. So you get the sneak peek beforehand and I always share all sorts of little tidbits on there. So please feel free to follow me there. And I hope you enjoyed the video because if you did, there's more to come. So until next time, Silver Picker out.